If you want to know what it takes to play really good 3.5 pickleball, then stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to share with you three shots that you must have in order to play really good 3.5 pickleball. And stay tuned, because after I give you the three shots, I'm going to tell you one thing that you don't need. You may think you need it, right? People talk about it, but you actually don't need it to play really good 3.5 pickleball. Let's get into it. The first shot you want to master to become a solid 3.5 player is you need to have an effective serve. I know you know how to serve. It's not about knowing how to serve. It's about knowing how to hit an effective serve. An effective serve has two components. Number one, it's consistent, meaning you can get it in much more often than not. And secondly, it's deep. What you don't want to have is a missed serve or short serves consist, you know, regularly. You don't want to hit short serves regularly. The beautiful thing about this is you can accomplish both of those at the same time. If you hit your serves higher over the net than you're used to, you're going to be more consistent because you won't hit the net. Your serves will also be deeper. My friend Sarah Mitten, my senior pro uh, mixed doubles partner, refers to it as length of the serve. So think of the serve being longer, not out, but longer. Let me show you a couple of, of different options and, and we'll talk, talk through them and see if they're what we want to have happen. So a nice, deep, consistent serve would look like this. So that serve is high over the net and is also deep. That serve, you don't need it to be on the line. Somewhere in here, it's gonna be perfectly fine. Nice, deep, consistent serve is what we call an effective serve. That one leads us into the second shot that you must master if you wanna become a solid 3.5 player, and that is your return of serve. So we have the serve, and we also have the return of serve. The reason we separate those two is because players don't see that they're the same shot. So we talk about them separately. But at the end of the day, if you understand what we're talking about here, you'll understand that the shot is the same shot. The mechanics of the shot are virtually identical. My targeting is similar and my clearance over the net is similar. An effective return of serve is consistent and deep, the same as the serve. So let me show you a couple of those shots so you can see what they look like. The only difference is I'm gonna bounce these balls, right? Because they are returns of serve. So the, the, the serve it comes towards me, it bounces, I'm gonna hit it and I'm gonna hit high over the net, right? Because I want it to be safe it gives me consistency, but it also gives me depth on my return. Now, my last one was a little bit shorter than I wanted to, but the one before was pretty good and deep. Work on getting that return deep and consistent, and you'll be on your way to playing really good 3.5 pickleball. The third shot you're going to want to have... Are you in control of your pickleball? Or are you aimlessly wandering without direction? Following whatever the next YouTube video tells you to do. Take control of your pickleball with the pickleball system the most comprehensive and well-designed pickleball training program available anywhere. Over 150 videos, live coaching sessions, and our exclusive success path. To learn more about the pickleball system and see what other players just like you have gained from being students inside the system, visit thepickleballsystem.com. Join our next class and take back control of your pickleball path. We'll see you in class. The third shot you're gonna to wanna to have to become a very good 3.5 player is an effective block volley. The block volley is used to diffuse energy. So you're under attack, say by a hard volley or more likely than not a hard banger. So someone driving balls at you really hard. If you learn how to block the ball, what you're doing is you're changing the tempo of the game. You're taking control of the game. And what you're telling the bangers out there is, listen, you can bang all you want. I'm bringing you into my world. I'm bringing you into a soft world. Think of it like, a, a boa constrictor kind of a thing where you're just basically going to bring them into the slow world, slowly wrap around them and win the rally that way. If you learn how to hit an effective block volley, you're going to frustrate your opponents because they won't know what to do if you have that shot. Now, you also should learn how to let out balls go, but that's for another video. Right now, what we're talking about is a technique where you're going to learn how to diffuse the energy that they're bringing at you. The key to the effective block volley is to keep a nice, calm body. Not a lot of movement of shoulders or body as you're executing the block. Nice, relaxed block volley is what you want to do. If you need more help with the block volley, I'll link to some more resources below that you can check out. But basically, bottom line is nice and calm, block it, and that's how you frustrate your opponents with the block volley. Now, before, before I'm going to caveat this because I know folks are going to come at me in the comments and they're going to say, what are you talking about? You need a third shot drop to play 3.5 pickleball. You do not, and I'll explain in a second. But before I do that, the caveat is this. I'm not saying that the third shot drop isn't a great shot. I'm not saying it's not a good shot to learn. It's not important and things like that. 
What I'm saying is two things. One, in terms of priority, it's, it's behind the shots that we've discussed already. And number two, the reason you don't need it at, to play good 3.5 pickleball is because, no offense intended, your opponents normally aren't that good on what they need to do on the return side. Remember, you're hitting third shot drops when you're on the serve side, right? When your opponents on the return side are about the same level, you know, 3-0, 3-2, 3-3, whatever they are, those players are not particularly good on the return side. What that means is I don't need to have a particularly good third shot drop in order to accomplish my objective on the serve side. My objective on the serve side right now for you is just to keep playing and hopefully win some points. You do not need a good third shot drop in order to accomplish that. So if you want to focus on something, focus on the three shots that we mentioned. Leave the third shot drop up on the shelf. It'll be there for you as you keep on working on your game. Focus on mastering these three shots. Also avoid that distraction that I mentioned. It'll elevate your play and get you to that solid 3.5 pickleball play. If you need additional help, I'll give you a resource that you, you can link on below in the video description. CJ Johnson and myself, we're pickleball professionals dedicated to helping you accomplish your pickleball objectives. Let's keep working at it.